At 10 o'clock, close friends of the Custer County paramedic who died in a tragic crash this past weekend are sharing their memories of the man who left behind a wife and a two year old child. The Colorado State Patrol says 39 year old Andrew Fernandez died after losing control of his car Sunday morning just outside of Westcliff along Highway 69 before hitting a pickup truck head on. The other driver thankfully was left without serious injury. Cardio 13's Tyler Cunnington joins us from our newsroom with a heartfelt remembrance from the man who has called Fernandez a friend for much of his life. Tyler. Yeah, that's right, Bart. Matthew Wilson and Andrew Fernandez became friends in middle school, growing up together in Sarasota, Florida. The two have been inseparable ever since, even into their adult years. And that's why tonight, although with a heavy heart, Matthew has no shortage of words for the legacy of kindness that Fernandez leaves behind. He did everything. He did skydiving, scuba diving, rock climbing, you know, skiing. You know, these are all things that, you know, we've done together. Activities in the great outdoors that Matt Wilson will now have to tackle solo. His beloved friend, Custer County paramedic Andrew Fernandez, dying in a fatal car crash this past weekend. Going on, I was in complete disbelief because I was telling her, I said, I, I just seen this guy less than 24 hours ago. This can't happen. Wilson had just been on a week-long camping trip with the 39-year-old in West Virginia before Fernandez flew back to Colorado for work on Sunday morning. I guess we had a 9 a.m. shift uh, that the next day, and that's when the incident happened. The former flight medic and 10-year veteran of emergency services, leaving behind a wife and a two-year-old daughter, Journey. Support pouring in from agencies across southwest Colorado in the days since. He kind of like, you know, had touched so many people's careers and lives in so many ways. Wilson saying his lifelong friend, although cut short, was an inspiration. You know, he, didn't, he didn't make it to, didn't make it to 40, but he just lived so much in 40 years. Just because, you know, he'd never, like I say, never put anything off. He went out and he did it and he achieved everything he wanted. Wilson says that he was told by Custer County EMS that they'll be retiring Fernandez's badge number and renaming one of their apparatus in his honor. That will happen at a memorial ceremony held at the start of November. Live in our newsroom tonight, Tyler Cunnington, Cardio 13.